Hey, what is going on, everybody? Rock D. Lee. If you don't know me, I do reactions on the Your Boy Rock Lee channel. On this channel, we do reviews and there's a couple reactions here. Today's hot topic is Endeavor. Woo! It's hot! Stay out the kitchen! It's Endeavor, baby! Ha! So, you know, if you uh, posted a reaction to uh, episode 17, and my take was Endeavor is not that bad. My nigga, you cannot do that. How dare I say such a thing? Cause the comment section, they did come. Not not atrociously. I'm not mad at them. It's uh it's just when they heard it, he's not that bad. They're like, what do you mean he's not that bad? He's a he's a terrible father. So I'm gonna give my uh take on Endeavor, his parenting, some things that people are not considering, and why Endeavor is actually right. Hold up! Why I <laughs> support Endeavor's goal, his goal, not his actions, not the means to the end, but I support his end. So first is the obvious, Endeavor is a bad parent. He's a bad parent. We don't have to argue about that, right? No, no! Okay, we are all on the same page. He is a bad parent. As an anime only, there's a group of us that just expected worse. So when I said, oh, he's not that bad in the original reaction and people are like, he's not that bad. All it was is the way Shoto was talking about this dude, I was expecting that he had zero concern for his kids, absolutely zero. And if you're gonna tell me that he had less, that he had zero care or concern for his kids, I'm gonna tell you that you're wrong because he did have care for them. He cared for them. He just didn't know how to be a good parent. And that is the end of the point. That is the only reason I said that Endeavor is not that bad. It's because I was expecting him to be a piece of shit. Nah, he's still a piece of shit. I was expecting him to be a major. Nah, he's still a major piece of shit. I was expecting him to be an irredeemable piece of shit. And actually many of you will still say he's irredeemable. <laughs> But you get what I'm saying. I didn't expect that there was an inkling of good in his life with his kids and his demeanor, his approach, his ideology. And there was. What? Bro, right jump. As soon as uh, they reveal that, you know, Toya, yo, yeah, yo, them, them flames burn hot. But his body's not suited to be a fire user. Bro, right off the jump, Endeavor's like, stop. You can't be that guy. Stop. Why did he say that? What was his motivations? Why was he saving people? You think Endeavor doesn't want to save people? I believe the reason why you told him to stop is ultimately for two reasons. He can't do it. He can't be that guy. And two, he's hurting himself. So you're just wasting your time. Now, major dick move, in my opinion. There's more than one way to redirect the child about this process. But ultimately, there's multiple times in that episode 17 of season six where Endeavor is seeing Toyo get hurt and is like, yo, stop. He don't want his child getting hurt. I knew that Endeavor was abusive or he struck his wife, okay? Then we see this episode, he sees his child is getting hurt. The mother's supposed to be looking after him. Mother's apparently not. I don't know what the mother's doing. I'm not gonna front. I don't know what she's doing. So he loses his cool on, his mo on the mother. So I thought he was habitually hitting her and it turns out that he lost his cool and hit her, which is completely unacceptable. That is completely unacceptable. I hate to drop the however, as I drop the however, I was expecting him to be a habitual abuser. So he hit her, lost his temper, incarcerate him, whatever. He deserves punishment for striking his wife. Again, I thought he was habitual I didn't know or think that the intent or the reasoning behind it is because of the frustration that his kid is getting hurt and apparently there's not enough supervision going on. Um, I think he said he was gonna hire guards or something for him. I think that's what I remember. Anyways, this is, this is awful. This is very awful to have to articulate, but it's important to know. Don't act like we don't see these things as we're judging his character, okay? Uh, and misrepresenting people to a certain degree. So there's a difference between getting a life sentence and getting two years, you know? Some of you guys are trying to give him a life sentence. I'm like, two years. 
you know? You know, if you want to argue about increasing the years, so be it. But again, there's a difference between a life sentence and two years. We have scales. That's all that's happening. It was revealed in season five, at least for me. I remember when Toga was explaining her quirk, right? It was explained that the quirk affects your personality to a certain degree. So Endeavor being a hothead, a literal hothead and losing his cool, no puns are meant here. Uh, I see that as an underlying issue of the hero society, the quirk society that has been sprinkled in the anime that there is not necessarily enough help just managing the attributes that are uh, that accompany your quirk. Now, that being said, I'm going to say Endeavor, you're a hero, you know restraint, so you should have had all the training slash expertise possible. So there is actually still no excuse for it. But I can't imagine that there are times when he has to constantly hold back and hold back more than an average person because of the quirk affecting his personality. We saw Bakugo as a yeller. We saw the mama was a yeller. They just be yelling. They're explosive. Okay. I think that frog girl says ribbit all the time because of her frog quirk. Anyways, we're going to move forward. Okay. Um, and I want to focus on the responsibility aspect of it. Uh, one of the, one of the common opinions or frustrations is people don't like that. The other family members took responsibility because it was all endeavors fault. And they don't like people who have a take that support the notion that the responsibility is shared. So I want to talk about that. I believe it is 100% Endeavor's fault. Let it marinate. 100% Endeavor's fault. Nevertheless, I still like the notion of shared responsibility. Okay? Because, you know, if my wife goes out there and says a whole bunch of nonsense about, I don't know. I'm not even going to drop an example. Okay. It's my responsibility. Even if I didn't, no, 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 I shouldn't say it's my responsibility. I'm going to have a stake in it, in the outcome. We share a child together. Okay. So when she goes and does that, I now have to proactively protect my daughter, our daughter against whatever harm she's about to bring to the family with whatever she just went out there and said. Even though what she said is not my fault, I have a responsibility to my family. So I'll have to protect her to a certain degree or decide to be like, yo, I don't know, honey, you went out there and said some wild stuff. <laughs> but I definitely have to protect my daughter. Everyone agrees on that because I'm the father. But I also believe, believe in that to some degree with your siblings. We are a family. We share the name. The success, the lack of success, it, it all goes back and forth, especially in a society like they are showing uh, in My Hero Academia. I know it's, you know, it's a Japanese society, okay? So the shame of one is shame against all. So at this point in the story, Endeavor is publicly being shamed. That affects the entire family. That, if, that affects their entire uh, ability to get jobs, secure jobs, keep jobs, avoid harassment, all that stuff. That's the reality. It's Endeavor's fault. But while your brother is being neglected or whatnot, and you're not giving him the attention that he deserves or needs, let's say the attention that he needs, and he goes out to become public enemy number one, right? Now you start to reflect, dang, I should have given my brother more attention. You as a mother, dang, I should have been out there with my son. When Endeavor told me to go out there to the forest because he was going to work on his quirk, maybe I should have listened to him because he's burnt down the forest, possibly took an L for himself, but we find out that he's alive, right? There is just things you could have done, right, to have made a brighter future for Toya because you are family members that love him. It is none of your faults, but you do share that responsibility as a loved one to see something and not be complacent. So, classic example, if I walk to the store and I watch old lady fall on the floor, okay, and she's having a heart attack, can't call 911, and I continue with my life, and I don't stop to call 911 or to assist her, I'm gonna tell you, 
I share responsibility in whatever outcome happens to her that's bad. Because I had an opportunity to see that she was in need and just make a simple phone call. And if I choose to ignore that, my complacency, okay, I'm gonna bear some responsibility. You don't have to agree with that, but that's where I come from when I say that the family shares responsibility because they could have done something. Now, I could give the kids a pass. Why? Because they're actually kids. They're actually kids. So to a certain degree, y'all y'all was kids. What do y'all know? What's going on everybody? Thank you for subscribing to this channel. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, please go ahead and do so. The link is in the description of this video and I actually tweet back. Much love, Rock T Lee.